Hey guys, so uh, this is a new thing that I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna come here and talk about stuff once in a while. It's got no set uh, schedule or anything, but I'm just gonna play some games and talk about things, science, news, politics, anything really. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm playing NHL 2003 because it was the last NHL game that I liked and yeah, I'm gonna play it. And it's, what, 15 year old? No, 13 years old now. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, okay. It's gonna bring my stuff down. This is an old me that I made. Um, I'm gonna just bring everything down a bit and start from there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own character, me, and uh, I'm going to do a uh, fantasy draft, and then I'm going to take my player wherever he ends up and put him on my team, just because. Why the hell not? And then that's the team I'll play. And I think I'll play this for every uh, episode of this thing that I'm doing here. And uh, yeah, so today I want to talk about... Um, minimum wage increase to like $15 that uh, California's done. So over Easter, I had a uh, sort of conversation with family members. Um, and I mean, there's reasons to disagree with having a minimum wage increase to $15. But what made me just not continue with the conversation was the incredibly selfish um, argument that, oh, people are going to make more money than me, or I'm going to be making the same amount of money as other people. That's not an argument, that's just selfish entitlement. Um, everybody deserves to make a living wage. Every single person who's working full-time should be making a living wage. And I don't know if across the board calling that $15, if that's a thing, but in California, it's generally $15 would be a living wage. Yeah. Um, LA, San Francisco, those places are some of the most expensive places to live in North America and even the world. So I think that's an appropriate place to have done it. Now let's talk a little bit about um, why $15 minimum wage works. People quite often will say it's going to destroy businesses. Businesses won't be able to afford this. They're going to fire people and they're going to uh, move their businesses out of the cities and states or even countries where minimum wage is so high. Well, let's think about what happens when people start making more money. When a minimum wage goes up to $15, what happens? People have more money. So when people have more money, what happens? They spend money. So the idea that businesses will just up and leave because they have to start paying people a little bit more money, especially large businesses. Walmart, they take in billions upon billions upon billions of dollars every year. They're not going to care too much. Well, actually, I'm sure that the Wall family probably hates the fact that they would have to pay more, more people more money. But when people are making more money, businesses bring in more money because people spend more money. So Walmart, sure, they pay their, you know, um, let's just do one store example. Say one store has probably like 60 to 100 employees, maybe even more than that. I'm not sure. I've never worked at Walmart. But say they have to raise their wage by $6, we'll say. I'm not sure exactly what the minimum wage was in California before, but say they had to raise it six, seven dollars. That's almost a double, I guess. Um, but then everyone else that's working a minimum wage job in the state is also making six to seven more dollars and they're spending that six to seven more dollars. That goes to Walmart. Walmart's not leaving. Big companies are not leaving. Even small businesses are going to be making more money because more people can afford to pay the higher prices at the small businesses. That's why it works. Businesses are not located in certain places so that they can pay lower wages. Businesses are located where they are to have access to the market that they're in. 
All of this, you could say, goes sort of hand in hand with the idea of uh, making four-year college free. Obviously not private college, community colleges and stuff like that would be very similar to how we have uh, elementary and high school. If people are not getting thousands of dollars in debt to get that education that they need to get a better job, they will be making more money, not having to give the big banks most of the money that they're making for 10, 15, 20, 30 years, or even the rest of their lives. That money goes back into the economy, just like when they make more money in general with a higher minimum wage, and businesses thrive. Businesses are not going to just go away because they don't want to pay people more money. When people get paid more money, they spend more money, which benefits the businesses. As always, business is a risk. Some businesses may not benefit from it. And that's too bad because that's what you get into when you start a business. You might not succeed based on your market, based on what's happening with wages, based on everything. All the little variable variables could cause you to fail. But in general, businesses will thrive. Jobs will thrive because demand goes up because people have money so that they can demand product. So when people have more money, they go buy more things. And when people buy more things, businesses need more employees to sell those things. And it's really that simple. But I guess not really that simple. There is obviously more complexities to it, but that is the general way that it works. And to all those people who think that people who uh, spent a lot of money on education, becoming a doctor, becoming an engineer, that sort of thing, if people start making $15 an hour, those people are just going to quit their jobs and start working at McDonald's. You think that those people who spend years in school working their asses off will actually quit the job that they love to do and they spent their lives getting educated to do? That's not going to happen. I believe that yes, they should probably be paid at least more than the minimum wage, yes, but everybody, every single person who is working a full-time job deserves to be able to afford to live where they're living. But yeah, if anything, stop whining about other people being able to live. Everybody deserves to live. You do, I do, and every person deserves to make the money when they're working to actually survive. I think that's it for today. Um, I will see you guys next time. Actually, you can't even see me. So, you guys will hear me next time. And please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to do more of these. Literally, like I said, no uh, schedule for this. I'm just gonna talk about stuff when I wanna talk about it. And uh, we'll see what happens with my team here. Yeah. Yeah. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great time. Uh, look, help us stick around. The subscribe buttons, like buttons, all that kind of fun stuff. Hit those and you know we can keep doing what we're doing because it means that people want to see it. And we like to know when people want to see our stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.